Hello, YouTube. I'm eating my dinner right now. I'm calling it a mukbang, but I call it eat my dinner. Because I'm on a weight loss journey. But I was looking at all the videos today. And all these influencers. This is some um, low carb uh, macaroni and cheese. I have a piece of fish. But I was looking at all these YouTube uh, influencers, hairstylists. And basically, where they were getting their hair from. And I wanted to know, I like the videos because my black creators, they are so talented. The people that I follow are so talented and the things they do with the hair, uh, how can I say, with extensions, hair, frontals, uh, four by fours, five by fives, 360s, they're so creative. But now, their Chinese vendors are getting a little, like, creative. They want them to push these videos out and, and pay. I hope y'all, for one thing, let me say. I hope you YouTube creators, influencers, that are pushing these um, Chinese vendors are getting paid like big paid because right now we got this crisis that's on and we're quarantined and we really don't want anybody sick and all of this okay so i had to come on because i'm looking at like a lot of influencers that i follow i'm a licensed cosmetologist and yeah i follow people that do wigs and things and they don't have a cosmetology license but they do great hair and I knew this was going to come down to it but uh, things was going to get kind of shady so I'm looking at all these people selling toilet paper for like 50 bucks Lysol for $100 I heard Nikki Leaks talking about she bought six bottles of Lysol for 600 I was like, mm-mm. But same thing happened in Katrina. Same thing happened in 1994 with us in California where people were cost gouging, 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 whatever it is. Trying to profit from people that um, don't have it. God don't bless people like that. And I'm going to see how many vendors in the hair industry and the um, beauty industry are going to last. Now, I know that Juvia's Place has been giving a lot of uh, of sales like every week or every two or three days she's giving a lot of sales she's not trying to take your money or nothing like that um, another person's another uh, company that I have dealt with was Sally Beauty Sally Beauty is not trying to take our money gouge up the prices they're giving a lot of discount um i ordered from fashion nova probably about three times and my check my packages are getting here within two to three days after ordering so those companies that i have dealt with uh i i've gone into the store of ulta they are doing a lot of sales too but a lot of other companies 
and also um, uh, uh, another one was Postmark. Postmark, if you uh, pay for your items, the seller will um, ship your stuff between two and three days within the U.S. I don't know about international shipping, and when they tell me that international shipping, they're getting your packages there uh, five to ten days, they're lying. I ordered something, and then the best the best way that they could tell me that they were drop shipping. Now, drop shipping can be good if you dealt with the company and you saw how they do it. But drop shipping can come from anywhere. It can come from Russia. It can come from Europe. It can come from China, South Korea. Not too much from North Korea. North Korea is not playing that game, okay? But the Middle East, from anywhere. So, if you see, like somebody said, oh, we're going to send you a package. It ships between three and four days. And then, on the back side, it might say, your package might not be delivered for seven to 40 days. Don't go for it. There's other shippers that are out there, other companies, my bad, other companies that are shipping your packages like overnight. I'm getting all my U.S. shipping like two or three days. I'm not playing with China, okay? Now, what really made me mad is that, and I'm going to put your company out there, yes I am, Best Lace Wigs and also Yoohoo Hair Wigs. They have gone up in price. Number two, they're saying, oh, we'll get your package out to you within 10 to 15 days, but we're shipping three to five days. No, don't go for it. They got black influencers that are out there promoting this. And I'm talking to all of y'all <clears throat> because I feel a certain type of way. They're stealing our ideas. They're stealing our creativity. They're stealing our people. And pretty much it's not being shipped like that. You are not going to get your package within two weeks. I'm sorry. You're not. Unless the person that you're buying it from is pretty much guaranteeing it because they have it on stock in the U.S. That's the only way that you're getting here in the U.S. Even my U.K. people, they told me the truth. And they said, no, you're not going to get it. And I'm like, okay, no problem. Because the U.S., I mean the U.K., they're having like a shutdown like in Europe. So I was like, okay, no problem. Because they told me the truth, I said, when you guys get back on your feet and everything, I will be uh, a customer that will get stuff for you guys, for my clients. But the Chinese, let me tell y'all something. If y'all remember, the Chinese stopped stopping shipment on the last part of January. Into the second week of February. That flu was out. That virus was out. So, for them being late on your packages or feeling like, oh, you know, we got a crisis here in China. Why wouldn't y'all, why wouldn't they send you that N95 mask? So now, when I'm looking at all the YouTube influencers, especially black, and that's a problem for me. They're pushing their wigs with the N95 mask, but the mask, you gotta pay for. 
They're not sending you an extra five masks for your clients or sending you an extra two for your family. No. They ain't doing none of that. And I felt that kind of offensive. You still want us to do business with you, but you knew about the virus prior to your Chinese New Year. You had uh, uh, people that were going into the hospitals in China, Wahan, Wahan, that were going in for that virus. And then when all the people flew back to the States, you guys knew about it then. But they're still using our black YouTube influencers to sell their hair. I've never sold any hair for China. I might have bought my own and did my own thing. I never endorsed. I never did um, sponsorships. They never paid me to say what the hair is and, and the hair that I might have got. And one of them is white wigs. I put them out there. Because I do not like their hair. And to get my refund and everything else, it took like a couple of weeks, even a month, to get my, my money back. So I just stopped buying through them. If my um, clients didn't have the money, I would try to find someone else cheaper or a little bit higher than white wigs to do hair with. And... If you notice, a lot of the YouTubers that we might have followed back in the day, they don't even use white wigs anymore. They're with some other companies. So that's one thing that I hate about Chinese vendors. They all about the money, baby. They all about the money. They don't care if you get sick or not. And I'm not trying to do that. And I'm not trying to bring the sickness on to my kids. So, I came on today to put a video out as far as why are Chinese vendors trying to sell, sell, not give, but sell us the M95 mask. Where is that? You can get that mask anywhere you want to in the U.S. for free. Anywhere. The school district. Other people that's selling them, not selling them, giving them away because you have someone in your family that's compromised. And I say compromised by your immune system compromised, like uh, cancer, lupus, HIV, AIDS. You have health clinics in your city that'll give them to you free but they trying to sell it to sell hair and all you youtube influencers if y'all don't get it right now i am so sorry for y'all because that's just like the man buying up all the lysol or buying all the toilet paper and he's selling it at a price on ebay or amazon that's just like them people you try to profit off of crisis you profiting off of black women that want to get the hair but you don't do nothing with the hair you just sell the hair we have to as black stylists and I say licensed stylists we're doing the work but you want us to deceive our clients which are going to be our clients and no telling if the hair is going to be bad or is contaminated. How about that, y'all? So why y'all doing them videos for the Chinese and they paying y'all that little check? And you got us buying? Not us, because I, I figured it out. I didn't have no hair to do today, so I watched a lot of YouTuber influencers. And I saw them doing hair, and I said, you know what? They might have had that hair right before the Chinese New Year, which was in January. They hadn't did the videos and reviews on their hair. So I'm just letting everybody know, I am not a fool. And I'm not getting played. All the hair. And I started dealing 
with a lot of black vendors out here in the U.S. And I might have to pay a little more, but I'm trying to control the cost with my clients. Mm. I'm not trying to do that. So, think about it. And I'm just putting it out there. If you sell your soul for a dollar, think about all the other souls that have to live with that. So if somebody dies of the, the virus and because of something you sold, that's blood on your hands. If you're not telling your viewers how long it will take for that hair to come to them, you are messing with other stylists and other viewers and other followers, their money. They might not even have the money to go out like that for a month. I know, I know. When I'm doing my clients here, I order my hair and I make sure they give me a deposit. I don't want them to think I'm a scammer. I want that hair to come to me within two weeks. But because of the virus, if they don't have U.S. warehouses, Amazon is making a killing. Yes, because they're based in the U.S., but the hair, a lot of people tell me, is garbage. And I've got a lot of clients that came to me, and one of the people was beauty forever. I'm putting you out there that you send the garbage to Amazon, and a lot of the stylists, we have to work with that hair because that's the only hair we have to work with. So, I just want to leave y'all with, why aren't the YouTube influencers that's showing us about this hair, is not telling us how long it takes to ship to us, if they're getting it from a U.S. or China, um, warehouse and why are they selling us the M the N as a Nancy 95 mask why are you selling that you might want to keep your customers happy you might want to hey I pitched in two masks for you they knew about the the uh excuse me they knew about the um the virus they knew about the virus before U.S. knew about it, before Europe knew about it, and before North Korea knew about it. North Korea ain't playing that. They ain't letting nobody in North Korea, and they're not letting nobody out. That's why you got the low incidence of North Korea. Even though they got their own set of rules, but they ain't playing that. China is the only one, free market. And trying to get black folks to sell out their own country just for a check. I know y'all get paid on YouTube to do these hair videos and stuff like that. But let the consumer, let the consumer know that you probably had that hair six months before the Chinese New Year, that you had that hair like a year, and they told you better post those videos because we're declining in sales. Let the people know that they're selling that M, uh, uh, N95 mask, but you have to pay extra for it. And those masks can go anywhere. The prices that I saw today, crazy, because I know I get them free. They get the mask. The mask is anywhere from $15 to $30. And I'm telling you, I get them free. <laughs> Wait a minute. You know I'm a nurse, but I have the mask and I got it for free. And don't let nobody tell you. All you have to do is use this mask one time. Covers the nose and the mouth. Okay. N95. There you go. And if it gets moist or whatever, spray it with uh, Lysol, disinfectant or whatever inside. Let it dry off while you're at home. 
and that's all you need. Profiters, but they did that during the Civil War. They did that during the Vietnam War. They did it during the Korean War, and they did it during the uh, the uh, the Iraq War. I'm just telling y'all, I did not expect, and it's just me, I did not expect <clears throat> black YouTubers to be scamming on their consumers or the people that watch them. I'm just telling y'all the truth, and it's so disgraceful, distasteful, it's You do this against your own people. Really. It's nasty. So, I'm just putting it out there. If you're going to do a hair video and I watch you, I might trash it because the hair is not coming from the U.S. and you're not telling people how long the hair will get to them. You're telling them about a discount? No. Let me tell you another thing. Hair has gone up. Or going up in price. So you give them your money. Your hair doesn't get there. In two weeks, like you normally order from this company. And your hair gets there in two, two weeks or, or, or no. I'm going to say seven days. If your hair don't get there in seven days... They are going to hold your money. You don't get it in two weeks. Demand your bank, PayPal, whoever you sent that money to, demand your money back. Because they're going to try to wait for 30 days. Drop shipping or, or another type of excuse they're going to give you. And they're going to keep your money. But... Tell your bank to cancel. And AliExpress, they'll give you your money back. Oh, for sure. Because I've ordered here from AliExpress. And if it didn't come, and I wanted it to come, the only, I think I had a batch of hair. I ordered it in February and I got it in March. And I really needed it. Because I had deposits on the hair from my clients. But when it came, I sanitized it and everything. And I ended up doing hair and making wigs. But as far as a wig, I don't buy wigs. I make my own wigs. If I do buy a wig, it's blonde and I color it and I add tracks to it. I do not buy anything that I can make. For a black stylist... That is so fraud. Why would you buy a wig and give it to your client? You are creative. You are talented. You can make it. I don't want nobody stealing my ideas and give it to somebody else and put it on their head. And then they say, oh, oh, we make it go on. We make this in China. No, I make everything. If I buy the hair, buy the frontals, pluck it, blonde it. Uh, pretty much bleach, the knots. I do everything because I don't want nobody taking my ideas to sell it as they own and I'm selling a wig to somebody I say hair by Edie. No, you didn't make that. That was hair by such and such company. All you did was pluck it. You didn't do nothing. So, like I said, and I, I preach this a lot, black stylists, you create. You're so talented. You put it out there. And so many people steal from you and create it and make it their own. Miss Precious Marie. She did something like. I'm going to think back. I remember. This is before. They started doing the realistic cap or something. 
And she put it out there that she went to hair Vivi. Yeah, I put names out there. I do not care. She did this thing with hair Vivi to try to do the real Esther scalp. They turned around, didn't give her no credit. They took it from her. Boom, hair Vivi is doing these realistic scalps. But Miss Precious Marie, if you guys follow her on YouTube, she invented that. A lot of us do the the wig caps because somewhere in the midst of things, it was a black girl that did that. Somewhere to pluck the hairline and pretty much um, do the 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 uh, concealer and the makeup. Some girl, black girl did that. But you got these Chinese vendors that take your credit and everything else, sell you the hair and make you a check and, and you go for that. And, and pretty much you selling out your own people. But a lot of black girls still like myself, we still make our own wigs. And by hand, a lot of girls are doing it on a sewing machine. But if the hair gets bad or if the, what do you call that, the frontal goes bad or the 4x4, 5x5, 7x7, 6x6, it's hard to cut it out and then sew in the next one. So, I'm just telling y'all, we as black folks have to keep our talents. Share them with your own sister. Share them with your own brother. But don't let foreigners take our secret, exploit us, and then try to exploit our customers. Uh-uh, we ain't doing that. Um, if nobody watched, I watched the um, Madam C.J. Um, Walker um, documentary, well, it was kind of inspired by her story. We didn't tell the whole of stuff, you know, inspired because they didn't have really a lot to work with. But they showed about Madam C.J. Walker, how she, why she made beauty products for black folks, especially black women, because we had to look presentable in order to get good jobs. And that's now today. If you watch this, it's on Netflix. Y'all get a look of it, okay? And to all my hairdressers out there, I want y'all to take a look at that, that movie. And it's in, uh, I think it was like five parts, four parts. But it let us know that we were so talented to blend in and do all these things to our hair. Keep it healthy, growing. It didn't matter. And we were hard workers. So, I'm going to leave y'all at that. Because now I'm going in 30 minutes. And I don't know if YouTube going to play all my videos. Because, yeah, I'm talking about these Chinese vendors that are playing most of the stylists, most of the consumers, most of the clients. And I wanted to be known. Because I, I felt a certain type of way when I was seeing these videos of people oh I'm laying this wig I'm plucking it how long how long is it taking those Chinese vendors to send that hair to people and they gonna put in a mask for you but you gotta give me fifteen twenty dollars for that mask one mask well we're getting them for free in California I just showed you mine so God bless. I love you guys. Uh, like, subscribe. I'm going to be bringing more videos out. I know before I wasn't doing too many um, instructional videos for um, um, to lay frontals and stuff like that because I do hair. Only thing I was doing pretty much when I construct a unit how I pluck it. I think I did had a, a couple of videos on moisturizing and everything else on the hair. But I don't do a lot of installations because that's my work. That's what I do. And I'm always working. Um, as far as my natural hair uh, products that I make naturally, 
with natural products, no chemicals. I use those on my clients. I, I'm, I do post stuff on my Instagram. The Instagram is Edie Smiles, at Edie Smiles. And then I have a Facebook. Facebook. Edith Lady Day at yahoo.com. And then uh, my YouTube, which is at Edie Smiles One. So basically, I don't show you guys how to do things. I might come on. I don't do detailed videos because I am a licensed cosmetologist. And for me, I feel like I don't want nobody's hair to fall out. I don't give instructions on what I do as a licensure uh, cosmetologist because I had to go to school for that. I can't show you anything on uh, Instagram, Facebook, or, or YouTube that I'm not an instructor. But I do have a book coming out for the practical boards. Y'all keep looking for that. I want to thank y'all for joining me tonight and letting me rant because I really, really, really are not feeling these influencers. If you're not telling them how long that hair is going to take, if they're selling that N95 uh, mask at a profit for 15 to 30 dollars and if you are still selling hair for these chinese vendors that are lying about the shipment and when they're coming out i really don't have too much to say to y'all get your check baby but i say we praying for y'all god bless y'all and for the other people that's losing out and y'all Get your money back. That's all I'm going to say. Get your money. If it don't come in two weeks, get your money back and try a U.S. vendor or even go into the beauty supply. You might be paying more, but you know your hair is in hand for your clients. Okay, good night and God bless.